Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about how some things are science fiction until they aren't. So a few weeks ago I'm talking to one of our clients. We were talking about some some enhancements to their app which we've been working on for the last few years. It's been it's been live for a while. I'm not going to tell you what the app is, but you know, they were asking for a few changes to it and everything like that. Uh, it was automotive related. That's what I'll say, right? And um, and, he, and we were talking about some different things that we could do. And, you know, saying yeah, that would be difficult. That would be that would be okay. You know, just sort of you know, fleshing out some ideas to enhance the user experience. And uh, and he said, you know, you know, what would be really cool is if we had number plate recognition for the car, so the car, so you could just say you know, that's the license plate number. And I said. Oh yeah, that would be cool, but you know that would be you know that would be really really hard to do. Yeah, I just can't see any way to you know any way to do that. I mean, I'll have a look, but you know that sounds like you know something that's you know that's that's something like you know I, I can't see how that would how we could do that. Right. So then, like just ap after we spoke, then I, I went and did a quick Google of it, and I found something called Open ALPR. So Open you know, uh automatic license plate recognition. So and if you have a look at it, if you haven't, it, I spent like an hour just playing with this tool, right? It's an open source, it's an open source framework, but they also have an API, right? Where you just, you can upload an image and it will take the image, uh, an image of a car and it will get, use like um, OCR and I think it might be used machine learning too, right? And it will, um, it will read the license plate number and give you like a, a likelihood of what it is, but also tell you the make and the model of the car, right? It was really cool. It was incredibly cheap, right? And it would just be like, I just, it was one of those, one of those situations where I was just kind of blown away by it. Because to me, that seemed like science fiction, right? So yeah, I, I know there's license plate recognition. Like when you go to, you know, every parking lot now has, you know, license plate recognition when you drive in. So you'll get the ticket if you overstay your time and all that kind of stuff. I know that. But for me, that seems like huge mainframe, you know, giant company type stuff. And it was like really available. So to me, it was science fiction up until that point. Then once I saw that that existed, there was a whole load of possibilities that we could do for future enhancements to that. And then to some of our other clients could be, could be interested in that too. Now, the reason I talk about this is because this was science fiction until it wasn't, right? So a lot of the times with our clients, right? When somebody calls us up, you know, they have an idea for like, they have like a requirement, but they might not know what's technically possible, right? And you know, so we'll discuss some things. And say, oh yeah, yeah, that's easy, right? You know, it's you know that's easy or that's hard or whatever, right? Because up until that time, a lot of the times it's science fiction to them. So like, like lately we've been doing a lot of work with construction companies, which is you know I don't know why, right? You know that you know a lot of construction companies are contacting us, right? Which is I think probably because of my macho physique, you know, to be honest with you, you know I'm kind of a kind of a man's man, right? So. Uh, so we've been working with a lot of them, right? And so we started to, to reach out to a lot. So because we have a lot of inbound stuff, you know, in that area, I thought, well, we might as well reach out to some others. And it seems like a lot of the companies that we're contacting, to them, a lot of this stuff is science fiction to them because they're thinking, we're not a big company. We don't have huge server infrastructure. We don't have a, you know, a, a dedicated IT team. All this kind of stuff that you would have think like 10 years ago that you would think you would need for a lot of the stuff that they need. To them, it's still science fiction. I mean, to their, they're saying, you know, a lot of times we talk to them, you know, we realize that a lot of our employees have these phones they're carrying around, they're voluntarily carrying around a computer, you know, a computer in their pocket. And, it, you know, I don't know if this is even possible, but would it be, you know, maybe something where they can go through and just, you know, type in a value and it gets saved and, it, you know, and then we could see it in the office. And you're like, yeah, yeah, that's like super easy. Right? That's like that's like bread and butter. It's just like a you know a, a database at the back end. I go, yeah, but the infrastructure. I go, well, you know, you've got now you've got you know Firebase, you've got Google, you know um, Heroku, you've got Amazon, you know services, you've got loads of cloud storage. You know, you're really cheap. All this kind of stuff that was really expensive to do before. It's really simple. And then you start you know adding things on there. You're saying, you know, and you're you know with a phone you could track. You know, you could you know save the GPS coordinates, you could take a picture, you could you know, you scan barcodes, do Bluetooth, you know, uh, NFC, touch, all this kind of stuff. There's so many things you could do 
that would improve the processes in your company and then all that stuff to them which was science fiction or you know they're thinking that would be really cool but i think it would be too difficult like to to me it'd be like you know, like the the OCR thing with the license plate thing, I was just blown away with it, right? When I look at some of the stuff in machine language, I think about how would I code that, and I think, God, no, that would be that would be too hard. And then you see the people using, you know, uh, all those those um, uh, machine language frameworks and everything. What is it, TensorFlow and everything like that? And they're doing some really cool stuff with it. And you think, man, that looks, you know, the the whole, you know, things that you know are outside my grasp. You know, once I learn about them, then you start thinking whole new worlds open up. And a lot of times, when I talk about there's being so many, like so much opportunity out there to to acquire clients, if you're working for the for small or, or medium businesses, it's because they don't even know this stuff is possible. They're thinking in 2005 terms or 2010 terms, where this, you know, if they wanted to set up a system that would, you know, using some of these cloud frameworks, it would cost you know, tens of thousands of pounds or dollars or whatever just to maintain. And, you know, and now it's like, you know, well, once the development's done, it will cost you, what, you know, $100 a month for the server and all this kind of stuff. It's just, it's really, really cheap to do, but they don't know about it. So a lot of times, you know, it may seem like there's not a lot of opportunity out there in apps, but there's loads. And the problem is that they just don't know about it. The same way I didn't know about that OCR stuff. So anyway... That's my message today. I'm, I know I'm kind of jumping up all around the, you know, sorry about that. Take a look at that OCR th or that um, uh, that license plate recognition thing. It's really pretty awesome, right? I, I'm trying to think how can we use that in a project, but you know, uh, anyway, that's it for today. I will talk to you guys tomorrow.